So this subject matter is extremely dark. I've raised so many times before about YouTube fixing their broken system. The perfect example of horrifying shit that is on this platform. I'm surprised people aren't talking about this. I can't fully confirm if this was broadcast on YouTube. It seems like it was from what is what it says in the article. Normally live streams are on like Twitch and things like that, although I know you can live stream on YouTube. I'm gonna read some of this article. A Russian YouTuber was arrested following a sickening live broadcast in which his pregnant girlfriend died after he was paid to subject her to cruel abuse. The article says that this guy was paid a thousand dollars to force his pregnant girlfriend out onto a balcony. Now, it's cold in the UK. They were in Russia. He forced her outside in her underwear and it's said that she died of hypothermia. At the moment he's only it's in two years in prison which firstly that's ridiculous secondly it's said that it's likely if there was abuse prior to her being forced out onto that balcony if there was i believe they said head injury or brain trauma that's likely why someone so young had such a reaction to the cold but Go on! <laughs> continues to live stream while she's out on the balcony goes to check on her after an allotted amount of time and finds her unconscious he drags i cannot believe this he drags her body her now lifeless body into the room where he's streaming and keeps talking to the camera to ask what to do I don't speak russian i don't know exactly what he was saying but from movements and franticness, it seems like he's probably asking, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, what should I do, what should I do, that kind of thing. Don't quote me on that. He then performs CPR. So quite a few people in the comments of the tweet where I found this article mentioned that it was half assed CPR. I think he was probably in a lot of shock. I could be wrong. He then moves her body onto the sofa and covers part of her with a blanket or a jacket or something but completely leaves her face and her bra shown and he stays live streaming whilst he's waiting for the paramedics when the paramedics arrive he's still streaming people have also said underneath that tweet that the people who paid him to abuse his partner should also be accountable for her death and i kind of agree it's second degree manslaughter worse than any of that this isn't the first time he's abused his partner for donations what the fuck is wrong with youtube even if this wasn't youtube even if this is twitch even if this is any platform how dare you allow fucking People like this, abusers, on a platform. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't give a fuck what the Russian laws are compared to a UK or the US. Because from what I've read, it seems that Russian marital abuse kind of favours the men. I wonder why, considering they still don't believe in... LGBT, so don't even get me started. I am fucking 
disgusted. This poor 28 year old woman was abused by her partner multiple times for donations. And it got so bad that someone would pay a thousand dollars for her to be so abused that she would be put outside in freezing temperatures in her fucking underwear for a thousand dollars. He is culpable. But so is the fucking platform for allowing anything like that to happen. How dare you? I am so fucking disgusted and upset by this. Imagine her family. She was pregnant. This is so disgusting. And what's worse is there's still videos of the live stream on YouTube. And they're not even blurred. They only blur when the guy gives her CPR. If this doesn't wake up YouTube, can someone please just create a new platform? I'd love it if PewDiePie was to like work with a, a developer or something and create a new platform because I genuinely am so fucking disgusted. I'm really starting to hate this platform. And there's so many creators on here that I love and I love making videos still, but I cannot. I don't know why I'm so affected by this. I just think it's so upsetting. Someone was abused this badly, first of all, but that it's been broadcast, that there's videos still there. <laughs> YouTube, sort shit out, seriously. You really need to vet these, any creator, a lot better than you currently do. That's all today, guys. I'll see you next time.